we meet again. <laughs>freshly blown out hair okay freshly blown out hair i've talked about this just a couple days ago it's the best like nothing makes me feel better than having my hair freshly blown out i'm just like oh, so nice i'm actually going to throw on some makeup today i'm not sure what we're going to be doing i know we're going to go somewhere we just haven't like decided where and what we're going to do so i'm going to throw on a little bit of base makeup and then my victoria beckham beauty products that I was talking about yesterday have arrived. So they came so fast. So I'm going to try those new ones out and show you. I haven't used this in forever. This is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Drops. I love these. So I'm gonna put these on today because they are so hydrating and nice. My skin is, again, super dry. Today it was my forehead. It was felt like a freaking sandpaper to be honest. So I exfoliated my forehead and now hopefully everything is in order. And I'm gonna use the glow screen as my base again today. I just don't know if I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder I wore yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before, or I don't know why, I, I'm getting like my days so mixed up, you guys. The day before yesterday, I wore the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra, Hydra Rescue. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to wear that today as my base or if I want to go with Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is my holy, holy grail. I think I might go with the Luminous Silk just because since we're going somewhere and it's about, it's about 11 now. So I'm gonna, you know, probably want my makeup to last until dinner. Not that the Futures Hydra Rescue doesn't, it does. It's just, I need to touch it up with powder in certain places throughout the day. Ah yes, luminous silk. Now that I've just put this on, now I kind of wish I would have done the Futurist Hydra Rescue just because it is such a hydrating formula and I am so super dry today, but we've already, we've already, the ship has sailed, basically. No, it's lovely. I, this is my favorite foundation, truly. The luminous silk is my favorite foundation but it's just sometimes I'm in the mood for like something a little bit dewier and I thought that I wasn't but now I feel like I am so that's okay we can add some glow in with like a highlighter or something plus I'm going to be using mostly cream makeup today so this is probably the way to go because I'm going to use a cream blush I'm going to be using the lid luster which is not from Vic which is from Victoria Beckham but is not a cream it's like a pressed pigment it's I've talked about it before on my channel it's a very finely milled it is such a lovely formula I really really like that formula and I that's part of what I ordered yesterday was the lid luster in chiffon which is a new shade they have and I also got their limited edition lipstick in the shade moody and I remember that's kind of like a berry I think but I can't remember exactly the shade that it was. It looked really pretty. It looked really good for like late fall, early winter shade. So I was really excited to get it. But I think I'm going to put that on before I do anything else. Just because I can't remember exactly what the shade was. And see, I love Armani Luminous Silk. But I'm shade 1.5 and you can see I do have to really blend it into my neck really well. Or I will have a line. So, but I don't think they make a shade lighter in this. Or if they do, it's very rosy and it doesn't work. So this shade matches my face really well, but my neck is very light. So I just always have to be really conscious to like buff it. So I love Victoria Beckham Beauty's packaging. They always give you like sustainable packaging. And every order that I've ever gotten, they send me like a little, a little bag, this little canvas mag, which I adore. I think it's so cute. Wishing you and your loved ones a safe, happy, and healthy holiday season. Mm -hmm. So, Lid Luster, and this is one of the posh lipsticks in the shade Moody. This is limited edition. And I don't know how I missed that this had come out, but then I got an email from them, and I think it was like, I don't think it was the first email they had sent about it. Um, so I was like, oh wow, I'm glad I finally saw this email. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's really dark. I don't know if I can, oh my gosh. It's like a blackberry. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to wear this today, you guys. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. This is, I don't think this is going to be like a daytime shade for me. Okay, let me try a little bit. I didn't even line because I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep this on. Mmm. That is really pretty and I will wear that, but this is like an evening shade for me. 110%. This is not a daytime shade for me. So I'm going to go check and find, I know I have another Victoria Beckham beauty lipstick. I have several of the posh. So I'm going to find a different one to wear today because sorry, this is just it's a little too dark for me to wear during the daytime today. Okay. So I've taken that off <laughs> and I'm going to use, I actually decided I want to use this Gucci lipstick. This is like so hotly talked about right now. It's the lipstick shade, call it a day in their, their brilliant formula, which is like their more sheer luminous formula. This is actually a really beautiful, like pinky nude. I'm a big pinky nude fan. I have a whole video on pinky nude lipsticks. It's like one of my most popular videos I've ever done. And I just, this is right up my alley. So I'm going to look for a liner to go with it. Hmm. I'm going to use like one of my favorite lip liners. This is Lumiere from ColourPop. The only thing that sucks about this lip liner is that you can only get it as part of a set. They don't sell this one as a standalone, so I always feel so bad recommending it because I'm like, oh, you can't even buy it on its own. Like you have to, you have to get a whole set. Although, I mean, their sets are very reasonably priced, but the problem is that now I've run out, almost run out of that shade and I need a new one, but I don't want to buy a new set because I haven't run out of any of the other lip liner shades in that set. So it's like, oh, okay, kind of a bummer. I need to start looking for a dupe of it, to be honest. That might be something I put on my list. Guys, when I tell you that I'm putting something on my list, I have so many lists. <laughs> so this is the call it a day. Oh my God. The formula is so comfortable. I love the shine. I throw this in my purse. I can reapply it whenever. It doesn't last like it lasts unless I eat or drink. You know, when I start to eat or drink, I'm going to have to reapply it at some point. But that's why I always put down a lip liner with it and then it, it works out perfect. Oh, let's try the Lid Luster from Victoria Beckham. Again, this is the shade Chiffon, the Sade, the Sade Siphon. The shade chiffon. I love their packaging. Like the tortoise shell detailing is just so pretty to me. And this is chiffon. It's a very basic champagne. I'm here for it. I love a basic champagne. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna use my pinky. I always go in with like my biggest finger and then wonder why everything's so clunky. But it's just because like someone told me to use the ring finger. One of you guys told me. Oh, let me try that. Oh yeah, you're right guys. The ring finger is the way to go. The ring finger is the way to go. I love that. I just love this because it's like so easy. It's on and I'm done with my eye look. I probably won't even do like liner or anything because I don't know. I'm just, I like this just the way it is. Ooh, let's use Color of Passion from Charlotte Tilbury. I've talked about this recently in my like what's worth it and what's not from Charlotte Tilbury video. This is something that is so worth it to me. I just applied it really weirdly, but that's okay. It's going to blend out beautifully because it always does. It's a little bit balmier than like most of the cream shadows I own. So I do have to work to blend it in a little bit more than some of my cream shadows because it does have a little bit more stick and grip to it. That being said, it does last really well. This probably like, as far as cream blushes go, this is on the like higher end of longevity. Like it is going to last you 
because it does have like that grip to it. I don't want to call it sticky because I don't think it's sticky. It's just grippier. And it's such a good shade that goes with so many of the lip colors that I wear. So this is always a good one. I take this with me. I took this with me when we went to Miami and I used it a lot. Right now I would say the three blushes I'm using the most are this one and this is going to be no surprise, Polished from Melt. This is their Polished, uh, their Cream Blush Light in the shade Polished. It is such a lovely, unique shade. It's a grapefruit. There it is right there. It is so beautiful. And then the third would be Major from Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's just a really good, like, mid-tone neutral pink so it's just a very like universal good shade like if I'm not sure which shade is gonna look good with something like you know like with this lip I can tell like this berry shade from Victoria uh, from Charlotte Tilbury color of passion the one I'm wearing I could tell okay yeah that's gonna go really well but say I do my makeup and I'm like okay I'm not really sure which blush color is gonna go with this I just want to flush I don't really want to like you know compete with anything I just want to flush then I'll go with like major from Victoria Beckham or let me see if it's right here yes or nearly neutral from Rare Beauty this is another one that gets a lot of use from me because it's just a nice barely there flush it's just like really good for days like if you're not sure what you want to put on your cheeks and you have like a bolder lip or you're just really happy with your makeup before you put on blush and you don't really want to mess with the balance these two major and nearly neutral are really good i'm gonna go find out from my husband what it is we're doing today because i really don't want to get I, I cannot get dressed if i don't know what i'm doing i have to know what i'm doing i have to know where i'm going before i can get dressed so we decided we're gonna go to the aquarium in new jersey we live in Delaware, it's about an hour away, but of course we had to stop and get Chick-fil-A. I got the spicy deluxe sandwich. It's the best. I get it with extra pickles. Strongly recommend next time you're at Chick-fil-A. Here at the aquarium. It's our first time. Have you been here? Cheese. No, it's our first time. Cheese! <laughs> Wow, 
That's the first thing I noticed was this guy. Oh my god, look at the coral moving. It's amazing. It does look like Dory. And those look like Nemo. Wow. Oh, qué lindo esos esos peces. Te gusta esos peces. Oh my god, there's piranhas. It's called piranhas fall. This little guy's off by himself. Wow. Yeah. 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 Mira los regalos, Emma Carolina. Muchas monedas. Muchas monedas. Sí. Wow. Mira qué grande aquel pez. Oh, wow. El cielo. Waiting for Scuba Santa Claus. He's going to be in this big tank. Um, so we're waiting for that. Because my daughter, I think that might be the only way she likes Santa Claus is if he's in a tank. Is that the, 
Benjamin Franklin Bridge? Yeah. We had a great time at the aquarium. Did you have a great time at the aquarium? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to dinner. We're gonna go back to Delaware to go to dinner. We thought about going to Philadelphia, but didn't want to deal with the parking situation. And so we're gonna go to Delaware to eat. We're gonna try a place that we've never been before, but that looks really good. We're gonna go over that bridge. The car is taking us a funny way. The car did not know what it was doing. It just seems weird we're going over like two bridges. This is the one that connects to 95. Oh, okay. That one connected to New Jersey and Philadelphia. So it's taking us from Jersey to Philly to Philly to Delaware. ¿Tigre de mango o de coco? De coco. Sí, es not even a joke. The, the coco sorbet is really, really good. Yeah. Right. We're on our way home from dinner. We stopped to get gas. It was such a good dinner, but I ate way too much. I'm so full, like uncomfortably full. I'm like, oh my God, why did I eat so much? But it was really good. Mm -hmm. Get out here. 